the inspiring presence of uh, Dr. Anant Pandare. Uh, through his work, he has uh, proved that social service and seva is something that should be incorporated into every profession, not just a medical profession. And uh, he has uh, lived life by these uh, principles. I would like him to share his, uh, the success story of uh, Hedgever uh, Rugnale, which I had the good fortune to visit uh, last month at uh, Aurangabad. Uh, over to you, Dr. Andare. Good evening, everybody. I will first introduce myself. My name is Dr. Anant Pandare. Me and my wife both worked there in Hedgevar Hospital last 22 years, along with my 42 different colleagues with uh, different specialities. Of Dr. Hedgevar Hospital is, a, we call it healing touch. This works under two trust named as Dr. Baba Saheb Ambedkar Vaidyakiya Pratishthan and Savitri Bhai Phule Mahila Ekatma Samaj Mandal. Difficult name to pronounce, but these are the two inspiring names in the downtrodden communities and socially neglected communities who have given some justice and standing to the downtrodden class in the society. I'll start with my vision. We have a vision in two, two sentences. To provide excellent, transparent, ever-growing and compassionate health services to the common man. And another is, with the inspiration from Sangh, through various initiatives, we will forge the nationalistic, self-reliant, strong and cohesive society. And you will find that whatever I, in a, my brief presentation, I will present to you, serves this purpose. Either common man, either compassionate service, or affordable service, or ever-growing service, or building a nationalistic or a self-reliant, society. And to fulfill this vision, trust is working on four streams. There are four channels we can say. Curative services, slum health and development services, rural health and development services, and variety of social de development activities. To enumerate few, curative services, a hospital, a blood bank, a small medical store to cater, another hospital in Nashik recently. To enumerate few social services, patient assistant, PG diploma, bar bending courses, masonry courses, rural health centers, slum health centers. The story started, <coughs> the let me first tell you the, how I am going, what I am going to cover in this presentation. Is first the, I will take you through the various programs and stories of transformation which the hospital has caused. We call it is not just the hospital. It is not just another hospital in the city of Aurangabad competing with other hospitals. No. That is not the objective, neither that is the motto, nor we are thinking about that. Fortunately, as we are not thinking about that, we need not even think about that because the hospital is running very well or flooded with patients. The story started 23 years back when we were studying in medical college. Few were in post-graduation, few in graduation. And during discussion, the idea came up that we should do something for the society. And that idea comes in everybody's mind when he is in a college or school. But it got shaped gradually as we started sitting together, discussing, brainstorming and everything. But the, 
whole discussion was like any other discussion we Indians always do. Like an argumentation, good or bad, yes or no, ye chalega kya wo chalega, ye kya to wo hoga, wo kya to ye hoga. And it was ne never coming to any conclusion or any, not, no action was opening up. So one of the social workers said ki we should stop discussing and meeting every week now, it's been over a year, unless we chart out some plan of action and what is your go contribution going to be? There is no end to the discussion. We will keep on discussing even after we start uh, our own practices, minting money or a cup of tea and then over a cup glass of beer. And that really gave a, um, it, it shook us. We were 50 at that time. Gradually the number started reducing as, as we started deriving plan out of those discussions. Lastly, we seven remained and in 89, we started this hospital with a small family borrowings from the, our parents with these two clear objectives. Now the hospital is grown to 150 bears, treated more than 4 million patients, out of which 75% patients are poor. This hospital is projected as a total family hospital. We claim that we treat 90% of diseases which can occur in any Indian family. If we see the Indian, typical Indian family, senior parents, then junior parents, and then couple of kids. If these six members of family comes across 100 diseases, we treat 90% of diseases in a very affordable manner, in a very quality manner. But that's not the only objective of this trust. The idea is to provide quality care at affordable cost to the common man. And common man one is one who is a rickshaw wala, thela wala, he is hands to mouth, daily wage worker, who doesn't have a permanent salary, who is not insured, who is not organized. We treat them as a common man. And these common men started coming in. First year, 7,600. Last, I think, sorry. Yeah. First year, 7,600, and in 2011, we treated 1,78,000 patients. We're sure we'll treat more than 2.2,50, 250, 100 patients next year. And next to next year, we'll treat at least 400,000 patients a year as we are expanding. These are some of the facilities which are required for any hospital. I will not go into the detail. It's a full-fledged corporate kind of hospital which you find usually in Mumbai like Hinduja, like Bridge Candy, Lilawati kind of thing. Infrastructure is one of the best infrastructure. But the basic infrastructure, the strength of this hospital which has determined the culture, the work culture, the experience of patient is that the doctor working in this hospital who is a specialist has decided to work on a subsistent salary he has decided that he will never do private practice. He will never earn anything out of his private earnings from any other hospital. So he is completely dedicated to this hospital, working more than 12 hours, no earning source other than this hospital, and happy on whatever salary is required for middle class life. We have decided that we will have a middle class life, not, a ugly, not even the upper middle class life. And that has set the benchmark that has dictated a lot of practices in the hospital. To give an example, this, as we have decided this, there is no greed in the hospital. No doctor is greedy about money, earning money. Nobody is counting at the end of the day, I saw this much of patients, so into 50 rupees is equal to this. I did two surgeries into this much. That's completely out of this atmosphere. And that has made a different experience for the patient. Patients are com extremely comfortable because doctor is not treating them for money. 
he is just treating them because he has some disease and he is expert in that. Doctor patient relationship is at a different level altogether. And how the, it has came into practice is, if the doctor is available here at a subsistence salary, then why to charge for doctor's fees when patient is admitted? Your doctor is taking this much of salary. So when, when patient is admitted, it is hospital's responsibility to treat him. And whatever expenses we incur, we charge to the patient. So if a doctor is treating the patient in the morning, visiting him in the morning in his first round, in the evening in the second round, if he wants me to see him, see his patient for some other speciality or element, he will refer him to me that Dr. Pandare, please see my patient for this and this complaint. I will go and see, then I will start visiting morning, evening, but the charge is zero. So the bill is under control, the cost of the treatment is extremely under control, anyway charges are very low. So the experience of patient and the bill of the patient both are extraordinary. And I am very proud to say that the, any bill or the charges in the hospital are around 20 to 40 percent of any other hospital in the city of Aurangabad, in spite of being the best hospital have one of the world class equipments, accredited laboratories, best in Asia blood bank, best equipments, laboratories, um, operation theatres, everything. And that has made the work culture different, the practice different and this got inculcated into the staff also. So the staff is also not accepting any tip, any bakshis, they are not running around the patient when he is discharged in the expectation ki kuch to milega, no. On the contrary, they, we have a culture that if somebody forces you to take 20, 10 rupees of note, he will put it in the box of hospital charity. So gradually the faith and the confidence of patient and community started building. Now we come across patients from 300 kilometer radius, 16 districts. And then this hospital gradually entered into social development area. 22 years back, this is the picture of the hospital which is under construction. Partly it was constructed as you see, saw in the previous picture. In next six months, this will be ready. This will have MRI, IVF, this will have invasive cardiology, cardiothoracic surgery, we will do cochlear implants, spine surgeries, we will have a nursing college and lot many other things. But that was not the only objective as I told you, the vision is to create a self-reliant, cohesive, nationalistic and strong society through various initiatives. This is the background of any downtrodden slum or rural area of our, our country. There is poverty, there is lack of education and employment, addiction, loss of opportunities, lack of health awareness, there are a lot of superstition, misbeliefs, the lack of affordable and quality health services and most of them are migrants, socially, economically backward, they are divided into cost wise clusters, they are unskilled, they are unorganized. This is the situation more or less one or one attribute plus or minus and we wanted to serve this class of society. That is the common man for us and he is not even coming to our hospital at times because he lives in slums and hutments and rural areas. I have seen patients who can't even afford to pay rickshaw charges to coming to hospital. Forget about payment of hospital. So we, we reached out to these people. There is a vicious circle. We can add few more elements to this circle. There is poverty, lack of education, loss of opportunity lack of awareness, emotional weaknesses which amounts to health and as we are starting our work from health onwards, we decided that we will address every aspect of this vicious circle and convert it into a virtuous circle. This is the picture of slums of Aurangabad. There are three centers in, we started in two, 22 years back, 89 December, our first healthcare center in slum cluster started, 3 rupee charges, 4 days of complete dose of medicine, 
total primary health coverage. A doctor is available 24 hours because he, we insist that our doctor should stay in the slum locality, not stay in some posh apartment and go every morning and come back. He is supposed to stay there. And I am very happy to and proud to say that three of my colleagues stay in the slum locality with their families, their children have grown up now. And the very purpose of they staying in the slum is that four hours they are a doctor and rest of the 20 hours he is a social worker continuously initiating one or the other social activity, developmental activity, upliftment activity for that community. The objective of doctor staying is there is not just medical, it is beyond medical. one of the slum mobile clinic and another slum center. These clinics are ideal primary health clinics. Now we charge 5 rupees for a patient in which he gets consultation, he gets 4 days of standard good medicine dose and a battery of basket of different different immunization, HIV AIDS awareness program, then at times needed free surgeries in the main parent hospital. Every week a specialist visit to the center makes a specialist advice available for them so that if suppose the patient comes morning in the my uh, I am a uh, primary health center doctor and the patient comes and I, I realize that he needs ENT surgeon's opinion. On coming Wednesday ENT surgeon is coming to my center. I will pull him to that Wednesday, that Wednesday you come at 3 o'clock, doctor will meet you. And the same ENT surgeon whom he can meet in Hedgevar Hospital. And he has nothing to, no, nothing more to pay, not more than 5 rupees. So that has made it a pri ideal primary health care center. But that's an, not the end of the, this is another center, the number of, increase in the number of patients. As any primary health center is supposed to do a, even in government setup, he is supposed to take care of the preventive and social medicine aspect of the community. So we have at least 19 different projects which are community health project, maybe RCH project, HIV AIDS, small family norm project that is family planning, mobile ICTC is for uh, counseling and training, then HIV AIDS prevention for migrants, variety of projects. So gradually hospitals started health center started entering into different areas. Just to give an example, when a doctor treats a patient in the morning and afternoon he is going in the village or slum and asking that lady, why don't you get literate yourself? Why do you not study? You should go to the bank and study the book. Then she says, I don't know who I will study, I am a young man, 40 years old. We have adult education class. She enters into that. When a boy is wandering in the slum, slum locality doing gundagardi, doctor pulls him in the evening pre-tuition classes. His evening tuition classes have started. Gradually there is a network of 40 different activities in and around slum locality facilitated by doctor and they are all connected to the health service. When it is, when it is uh, initiated by or when it is promoted by the doctor who is treating you and in whom you have a tremendous faith and confidence, the participation level is 200 percent. They don't question that any uh, malafide intentions are there, do these doctor wants to be a corporator or not, because they have seen last 22 years, doctor has not changed, he is still using the same two-wheeler is still coming dedicatedly, his language has not changed, his rahen sahen badla nahi hai. So he is same, he has never contested in any political party, he has never entertained any politicians inside his house. That has made a lot of impact on people and the participation level in each and every program, the acceptance level has gone up like anything. And that has given birth to 40 different projects. And that's why when Mr. Ratan Tata decided to visit this project in 2001, he said, I have come not to praise all of you, or, but I come to see, to believe it. I don't think 
such kind of project can exist in country like India. And that's why he came in his own plane. Some of the examples, there is a Mahila project going on, women's project. We first make them literate. As soon as they become literate, they want to do something, earn some, something more. Then there are small saving groups started. Now there are 300 small saving groups, 5,000 women are participating. As soon as they have some money, they start thinking of ki mere bete ko kichhi achche school mein bharti karenge, achcha coaching denge ya kahi jaga lenge achhi. I will buy a good house in a good locality. Then gradually the women will start thinking about starting a business. So one project gave birth to another project, a step more, a step ahead, a step up. There are 252 self-help groups in slums. Total put together 300 groups. We are addressing gender equity, self-reliance and health issues through each and every self-help group. She is a Varsha Zadhav. She is a polio struck lady. Lost her husband. She had a land but it, it was dry. Staying in a rural locality, a village, very small, as small as only 100 families. She always tried to approach a lot of banks and money lots, but the interest rates were very high, which were prohibiting her. She had a very tremendous hassles in seeking loans. She had to run around, meet a lot of people, produce a lot of account uh, papers. So these self-help groups provided her easy access to money. Our network provided her easy access to information about what to do and what not to do. And the most important was she had a self-esteem to grow ahead. Now she is a lady with, uh, she is a president of her federation of small saving groups. She has in her bank account at least 5 lakhs of rupees. She has entered into a couple of businesses. One is for her daughter and one is for herself. And very proud leader of that community. Her group, her small saving group also started a different activity which was a talk of the town. This Sujata Alpabachat Gard, they started making centering plates for making slabs and building material. So they started borrowing uh, plywood, appointed a couple of carpenters to make those centering plates and they started renting out. The initial loan they took from their uh, small saving group, some around 25,000 rupees of loan. And then gradually the turnover is now, last year we, I heard that it is more than 30 lakhs rupees a year, the turnover. Their centering plates are going up to Kolapur, Solapur on renting. Another example, doctor was going to rural area every day visiting 3-4 villages, treating patients, coming back. And every day when he used to come, he always used to say, Ki, we are treating human beings there, all farmers, boys and girls and women. But the animal is the asset of any farmer, a bullock or a cow or a buffalo. And there is, no, there is no solution for their health. Government machinery corrupt and non-accessible. Non and we should do something. And we were continuously pro postponing or not entertaining his request because we always used to think we are into the treatment of human beings. We are doctors of human beings, not the veterinary doctors. But he came up with the idea that we have a very fantastic scheme in hospital. Out of that, this idea took birth. In hospital, we treat a patient as a set of emotions, set of different complaints, medical complaints, a set of past experience based on hearsay or his own experiences, and his own worries and problems. Either he, has, he doesn't have enough money, or he doesn't have enough information, about the disease, about the treatment of the disease or about the charges or he doesn't have the know-how about the hospital or the city. He has no, no, he doesn't know anybody in the hospital and in the city. So 
where from the tiffin will come, where, do, where do, uh, his relatives will stay. There are a number of questions besides his own disease. So we treat the patient as a whole there in this hospital. But the hospital can't employ patient, uh, people for treating non-medical aspect of patient because they are completely uh, non-revenue generating aspects. If you want to give a counseling to the patient, patient is not going to pay for that counseling. But counseling is needed, that's a part of the patient. If patient is lost in the hospital and he doesn't know paise kaha bharna hai, bathroom kaha hai, doctor ka wane wala hai, these are different worries he is carrying. Or he has a past experience that bade hospital mein jane ke baad aadmi mar jata hai. That's the notion he is carrying. And we have to take care of that. So there are 50 senior citizens of Aurangabad who are class 1 officers, retired principals, retired bank accountants, retired managers of different organizations who every day come, we have trained them last 10 years, they come and they dedicate their 3 to 4 hours from reception counter to operation theater and ICU they give service to the patient and mainly to the relatives of the patient. There is a complete hand-holding exercise going on. They are treated as uncle and aunties. We call them Sevavrati, the one who is committed to serve. There is a small apron given to them so that they are identified. And they are problem solvers, they are giving information, they are giving education. The couple of ladies in maternity, they now know each and every bit of maternity aspect. From the conception till delivery and post-delivery, they have been trained. So they treat, they educate women on breastfeeding, they educate women on hygiene, they educate women on uh, nutrition. And they are paid zero. They are volunteers. We don't even give them a cup of, cup of tea every day. They come on their own. But the, the biggest remuneration they are getting today is tremendous satisfaction and a purpose to live. Their average age is 67 years. The oldest one is 85 year old man. And his job is to meet and counsel and boost up the moral of critically ill patients relatives. He only visits an ICUs. These people are bringing in a different culture in the hospital, a different value addition is going on. And out of that, couple of them were veterinary doctors. So we requested them, instead of hospital, you should go with our rural team for the villages. And they started and they come up with a proposal of training 25 farmers from 25 villages at just a meager cost of 2.5 lakhs for two years. 1.25 lakhs for a year and the syllabus was designed, training course material was prepared, a job, uh, complete timetable was designed where to visit, which places to be visited, developed uh, areas of western Maharashtra, everything where dairy farms are there, where animal husbandry colleges are there, everything was chart charted out and in two years time these people have done miracle in their villages they have saved animals more than 15 lakhs of rupees. There was a epidemic of black quarter disease in that area of 75 villages and that black quarter disease has at least killed three to four big animals in each village except this 25 village. No death in any of these 25 villages. Now rest of the 20, 50 villages are under training from last year. And the cost of the training for two consecutive years is not more than three lakh of rupees. This has caused a miracle. You can see the graph before project, death during black water epidemics. 60, now 25 last year, and this year two. And after and another is vaccination. The number of vaccination was 25 percent. 60%, 65%. The animal husbandry officer of that area got collector's award for the work done by these 25 people. A smaller initiation, motivation, 
and giving an atmosphere that you can do it is done by the doctor and the resource generation or the just tying the losing ends or meet, is the job of doctor or the social worker rest of the things are done by the people this is another example I was just telling to Maulik right now his, uh, his name is uh, Kuche yeah Kuche and uh, he was working in daily as a daily wage worker in one of the industry of Aurangabad a day standing at the gate so that the uh, HR manager can employ him if he is taken in he is employed if the door is shut he is unemployed today come next day that's the usual story in every industrial area he was having three acres of land on a top hill non irrigated completely thoda bahut kaam karke yearly 25000 rupees of income that's all completely drenched in the uh, borrowings so he left farming and came to Aurangabad earning 5000 rupees a month such 12 people we could pursue them that they should go back and start agriculture work and earn lot of money we gave them a cover period of two years that you just sustain yourself for two years we are sure you will never come back provided a small subsidy and a hand loan of 25000 rupees for putting up their drip irrigation and a lot of moral boosting motivation and technology transfer in agriculture through different experts which come in contact with the head giver hospital and that give a birth to a completely different plan after nine months they return all the money back in cash everybody returned 25,000 rupees back because they had earned not 25,000 rupees but nine lakh rupees in that nine months of time 12 of them have earned lush green farms there is a queue of other farmers now there to look at the kaisa ho gaya chamatkar ho gaya because his this kuches farm is three uh, half a kilometer up in the hill and he is producing adrak he is producing haldi he is producing cotton and exporting now the now he is he is doing a lot of things now now he is a leader of the community and all but that has gave birth to the Nabad Plast India Foundation and Headgiver Hospital is doing a 300 farmers project now worth 1.6 crore. Very small beginning, very small help, but a lot of inspiration and facilitation. Skill development and vocational training. I remember 10 years, not 10 years, 6 years back a boy had came who had dropped from the school because he can't uh, he can't continue his study, he is very slow in study, his father was beating him, Kuch sikta nahi hai to kaam karke paise kamao. that kind of atmosphere. And he had come to the my health center doctor's house saying ki mujhe kahin nokri laga do. Mera baap roj maarata hai mujhe. No skill at all. Doesn't know even how to clean the table. And a small uh, doctor done, uh, did something and sent him to training somewhere. Ek hafta bha training kar, then we'll think of some, employing you somewhere. And out of that, a skill development program took birth. Now with LNT, we are doing six courses for school dropout boys. One is skill masonry, another is bar bending, another is hardware technician. Then uh, masonry skill patient assistant course and uh, one more course plumbing all six courses they are paid 1500 rupees a stipend for three and a half months and at the end of the three and three and a half months they are the best masons or best hardware technician people at least 190 people have become best masons and they are earning five times more than what they were earning women have started housemaid has become it's an extraordinary pleasure to see a housemaid, a former housemaid now wearing a iron white sari and going to somebody's house as a home nurse and earning 300 rupees, 400 rupees for 8 hours of job per day. She's employed 26 days a month. These 10 different courses are going on, two are with Johnson & Johnson, 
and one with Wipro. A small story, Masuddin Khan. He used to throw uh, condoms filled in water on our uh, social workers when they used to roam around in the slum community. He was a pimp and he always used to think HIV AIDS awareness will bring his business down. So he always used to tease and trouble. One day he, somebody caught hold of him, motivated him, counseled him about the whole disease. His eyes opened and he became the best peer educator, got an award from World AIDS Congress. Now he owns a Sadiq tea house. In rural area also a lot of water management, land management program going on. The concept of Hedgevar Hospital doing social transformation is an emotional transformation. Hedgevar Hospital, a surgeon is not going in the rural area and educating somebody how to sow a seed or how to do the drip irrigation. But the surgeon is aware that if I don't do that, I am not fulfilling my vision. So he is promoting that. He is not objecting 50 lakhs rupees of spending of surplus of hospital on these activities, not at all. He could have objected and took that money out or personally, but he is not objecting that. He is neither objecting that uh, trust is spending 40% 40, 40 of its time on social work decisions. So that has given, and the emotional transformation when I am saying, if you transform a human being emotionally, you sow the seed of self-esteem, mujhe bhi kuch banna hai, I am worth something, the moment he, the spark is generated, emotional, uh, social transformation, economical transformation, educational transformation is bound to follow. The lady is going to ask you ki mujhe kuch sikhao. The lady is going to ask you ki abhi mein sikh gai hoon, mujhe kuch haath ko kaam do. The boy is going to ask ki mujhe kahi achhi nokri laga do, abhi mein sikh gai hoon. Three boys of that masonry training, they came out and uh, one builder offered them ki mere yaan aake mason ka kaam karo. I will pay you 400 rupees a day instead of 70 rupees a day as a worker. And they said, nahi, we don't want to work under you. We want to start our own gang of contractor and we'll register as a company and then we'll start taking smaller, smaller contracts. Last year they got a uh, seventh contract of 10 lakh rupees of construction. Now the profit would be at least 1.5 lakhs of rupees. And they're growing and they're generating income, they're expanding their business, three of them, partnership, firm. So the moment you are transform them emotionally, give them a test of growth and the things start rolling. Ratnamala Mate, you will not believe she is into floriculture, an illiterate fourth standard lady now, $1,500 per acre per year, $1,050 per acre per year is the income she is going. This uh, Catherine Peterson from USA stayed with her for two months. There are child education programs going on in the slums, four nurseries. This is the list of different, different activities which I have been trying to mention to you, done by the hospital. Hospital is just one outfit of the trust. And these are the, our proud partners. When we started, we started with our own money. Hospital every year keeping 50 lakhs of rupees aside for running health centers, mobile clinics and different social programs. But now the 50 lakh rupees is not the enough. We require 2.5 crores every year for different, different projects. So all these partners came in. ICSA came forward, Johnson & Johnson, Minex Metallurgicals, Orchid, UNDP. Variety of projects are going on with the help of these partners. The transformation I was talking about for which I have been invited. In health sector, the transformation, the point of transformation we claim that is about the society's participation. The hospital, as Ratan Tata said, is by the people, for the people, of the people. 
there are 500 people working in the hospital and there are at least 250 people volunteering in the hospital for running of the hospital. There are all put together 750 people volunteering through this trust in various projects. So we encouraged volunteerism as a part of duty of every human being in social context. The concept of full-time doctors selflessly working in spite of being a high-tech, highly educated doctors is the concept which we tried to pioneer. We re-establish doctor-patient relationship in a, this hospital. We also say that the hospital has to be a hospital with social conscious. Like in our previous ancient eras, a uh, Vaidya or a doctor was the most respectable person in family. You cannot imagine your family doctor sitting in a bar. Nobody could have imagined in those days. You cannot imagine a doctor uh, flaunting his money like anything. But nowadays it's a well accepted fact. So we think the hospital has to be have a social conscious. Why I'm saying this social conscious, this hospital is the first to respond to any natural calamity in the country. You take Andaman, Nicobar, Tsunami, on th third day morning we were there in Andamar. You take Latur earthquake, second day onwards till almost two months we were there running mobile clinics and different things. You take Gujarat earthquake, 27 January, 10 o'clock we started our first clinic in Gujarat, Baruch district, which we ran for 45 days. You take Morvi, we were there. There is a separate sale and we respond to that as a social conscious, besides doing everything. That's because incidentally we are doctors. That's why we are running hospital. If we would not have been doctors, we would have done something else for the society. So this is the kind of transformation we are trying to do. In case of society, we are trying to elevate self-esteem of every downtrodden human being. Self-reliance has been, we are reinstated faith. If our doctor in slum locality opens his mouth, people are bound to listen. That's the kind of faith today is there. We are evolving the domain of partnership also. All the partners who are trying to be partner with us like Johnson or like, they know this is a hospital which has been inspired by the school of thought of RSS. Everybody knows it fully. Hedgevar is the name of founder of RSS. And they know it. But they are eager to get shake hands with us and partner with us. Because we claim we are injecting values, not just medicine. And we continue to promise that the patients will get affordable, ethical and dedicated service experience forever. We grow to any size, but this will be the experience. And the doctors and trustees will expect minimum and give maximum. Hospital will remain and act as an example to emulate, replicate. And social and developmental projects will be initiated as a spin-off effect. And we promise that. Thank you. I agree that uh, the quote that we have up there by Margaret Mead, never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed citizens can change the world. Indeed, it's the only thing that ever has. When I saw this quote, I thought of the good work that uh, Doctor and his team are doing. Now I would welcome questions. Uh, we'll take all the questions and then request Doctor to. Uh, please identify yourselves before asking the question and one question at a time, please.